the Fairchild Video Entertainment System at your larger JCPenney. The home entertainment system that never gets old. Plug in a new video cart and change the fun. Play tic-tac-toe, shooting gallery, or just doodle. Switch video carts and play Desert Fox. Switch again, it's Blackjack. Or play the two built-in games, Pro Hockey or Tennis Champ. Channel F for fun. The Fairchild Video Entertainment System. Just $169.95. Video cart cartridges, $19.95 each. At your larger JCPenney. Time to start playing the Channel F. I love the Fairchild Channel F. Uh, it's one of the consoles I had brand new way back when. Uh, still like playing it to this day. There's a lot of games on there that are kind of like little hidden gems for the Channel F. They're very simplistic, but I really enjoy the games quite a bit. Probably because I'm a very simplistic Willie. <laughs> but anyway. Oh, we're going to be playing and playing games on a Channel F System 2. You can see right there. Now, I had a System 1, a predecessor to this one, which actually had the sound effects that came from the console itself. When the System 2 was made, they actually output it to the TV, like an Atari 2600. So, it's a little bit of a difference there. I kind of like the design of the System 2, personally. But I really have fond memories of the System 1. So, let us take a look at, there we go, that ever-famous G for game. <laughs> so the games I'm going to be playing are going to be on the really awesome multi-cart that's available for the old Channel F. Plug that in. Reset real quick. Hey Ralph, how's it going, man? Channel F by Sean Riddle and Efi Frog, who did also a really cool Pac-Man game on the Channel F. Pretty awesome. So, all right. Uh, let's see. Should we start with Tic? No, I don't want to start with Tic Tac Toe. Desert Fox has two-player game. Blackjack. I used to play Blackjack a lot. On the channel left. My dad mainly got it for uh, for him, but I tend to really like this game. Oh, 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 I got 20. Other one's got 14. Let's hit on that one. Ooh, stay in. I'm going to stay in on that one. Oh, both of us won. <laughs> awesome. Do it again. Bet five. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, we got a blackjack. We lost. Let's crank up the... Let's crank up the bets here. Hey, Matt, how's it going, man? Oh, man. I missed the nine. Crank up the bets. Going to 99. Hey, Atari Creep. Here we go. Oh, oh. Let's see. That guy's got ten. Oh, there's twenty. One stand. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, I busted. Rats. <laughs> Do it again. Oh man, we both lost. Hey, Ferg, how's it going, man? I'm playing a pre-Atari system that I actually really like, Ferg. How do you like that? <laughs> Ooh, 15, I'll hit. Ooh, stay in. I'm going to stay in. 20. Ooh. One guy lost. Another guy tied. Bet again. Oh, 16. 8. 18. 12. 
16. Ooh, stay in. Well, one tied. One guy won. Cut? Yeah, cut it. Cut the cheese. Yes, for the town left is very charming. Actually, it's the Odyssey 2 that we always said was charming, remember? We've not featured the channel left on Atari Visions. Probably should have on the Space Invaders episode. I don't know if we did or not. I can't remember. It's been so long since we've done one. Oh, I busted on that one. Oh, he busted. 15, 18. Go at one. Yay! <laughs> I still get people asking me about Atari Visions. It's like, nah, I don't, I don't really podcast very much anymore. Like I used to. Ooh, 19, I want to stand. Ooh, I could do a double on that one. Oh, I should have done a double. No. Oh, I lost my shorts on that one. Okay. Ooh, at least I looked at one. The right hand is doing better than the left hand. Imagine that. Mm. Ooh, 14. Oh, blackjack. Hey, Sean, how's it going, man? What if I send you cookies? <laughs> that would be kind of nice, Ferg. I, I miss getting cookies in the mail from you. Uh, oh, ooh. That was cool. I should have doubled that one. I could have gotten some, a lot of points in that one. Oh, cool, Ralph. You've got a uh, Channel F. Like I said, I absolutely love the Fairchild Channel F. Uh, back when it was, when it was out. My dad used to uh, be an authorized Fairchild repair technician. And he used to get Channel F's in the fix and stuff sent from him from Fairchild. And uh, I had a lot of extra parts when he got, got out of that business. Which I used to fix Fairchild's on the side through the uh, 80s and 90s. Anyway, let's go to another game. Ooh. There we go. Shout out another game. Let's see here. Oh, Spitfire. Yes. Hey, Cannabis Kid. Yeah, I did try that pig out, Dine and Swine, and it's it's a hoot. I'll probably do a video on it probably next weekend. I had two other videos in the queue already that I was working on. Hey, Nick, how's it going? No, I love Spitfire. It's a real... Like, I can't remember how you play one player. It's been a while. Bear with me. Is this the one player game? Can't remember. No, that's not the one player game. Uh, mode 2 start. Oh, that's not the one player game either. This is what happens. You don't remember how to play the freaking games. Come on, where's the one-player game? That's not the one-player game. No one's here somewhere. No. Mode 4. Start. Well, shoot. Hang on a second, guys. I gotta remember how the heck to play this freaking thing. I think this is it. This is it right here. Yep, that's it. There's a. T oh no! Don't don't don't! Ah! Oh. Rat! All right, you. Take that! Take that! Ooh, got him! I got the Red Baron. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> oh, 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 get him, get him. Oh, yeah, you have been shot. 
Hey, Nick, how's it going, man? Oh, right on the runway. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Oh. Yeah, Cannabis Kid. There is a Pac-Man game for the fair child right there. Oh, whoa, whoa. He's strafing me. One of the things I used to do playing this game uh, growing up is me and my buddies, we would cut out pieces of uh, white cardboard and stuff and make clouds that we would tape to our TV screen so we could fly into the clouds and disappear. Added a lot of fun to the game. <laughs> oh, yeah, Ralph. I remember seeing the fair child at Montgomery Wards as well. I was quite fortunate because my dad was one of the first ones to actually get one of these things because he went to uh, the factory to get trained on how to repair the channel F's and he was able to get one fairly early. Gave it to me for uh, Christmas. Loved that game. Had quite a collection of Fairchild Channel F stuff. I had a bunch of uh, sales flyers. I had uh, promotional items. I had a lot of service literature for them. From my dad used to repair them. Like I said, I had a ton of parts for them as well. Used to repair them myself on the side. It's a really fun system. It's very simple, but it's very fun. Whoa! Oh, he shot me! Yeah, Mike, this is on real hardware. So here's the controller I'm using. Those great controllers by Mr. Ron Smith. Just shoot out! Ugh. I was pretty stoked that the uh, Netflix series in episode one of High Score they had a short little segment that had Jerry Lawson's kids talking about Jerry Lawson and the channel F. I thought that was absolutely wonderful because not a whole lot's been done with Mr. Lawson and the channel F. I really wish I could have met him. Uh, unfortunately he passed away before I got into doing this kind of stuff on, on YouTube because I definitely would have got a hold of him and interviewed him. Hey, CGM. Ah! She got him. Whoa. Oh, go around. Ah! I got canaled. Let's try a different game. Fire in a hole. Oh, didn't like that. Fire in a hole. All right. Let's play another one. Oh, Space War is really good too, but unfortunately, that's a two-player only game. But it's it's really cool with the laser effects and the little UFOs flying around. It's a really fun game as well. Not Math Quiz. No, I'm not playing Magic. No, not Magic. Oh, Drag Race. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to play mode number four, Dragster. Okay, here we go. It's been a while. That's what kind of time I get. Zoom. 8.2. Awesome. Let's try it again. Now, when everybody else was playing Dragster on the Atari 2600 by Activision, this is the Dragster I was playing. Yes! Eight seconds! This game's a hoot to play two players. It's a lot of fun. Well, Ferg, the missus is in uh, her bedroom, lost in Skyrim right now. She's uh, She's gotten lost in Skyrim. She's re She really likes Oblivion and Morrowind, and lately she's been playing Skyrim a lot on the PS4. Otherwise, I would have had her in here to play some two-player Channel F games. <laughs> Come on, I gotta break eight seconds. Oh, 7.9! <sighs> awesome! Oh, I blew my engine. Here we go, 
here we go. Boom. Ah, oh, eight seconds again. I don't think I've ever broke 7-9 on this game. As far as I can remember. You really got to be quick with the shifting. I guess I did break 7.9. 7, 8. Oh, yeah. We need... Hey, Atari Creep. We need to, we need to get the guys over Atari, Atari I.O. to do like a high score challenge for the Channel F. <laughs> I might be able to actually win. <laughs> uh, I can't remember, Ferg, how the Activision one does. On the Fairchild Channel F, you twist the knob for your fuel, and then you go one, two, three, four in an H pattern. So I can't. I think you push the button for fuel on the Activision one, and you do the H pattern with the joystick. I can't remember, but this is how I'm used to playing a dragster type game is with this controller because I did it so much. Do another one. Oh, oh, I blew my engine. Rats. And, oh, red light. <laughs> I jumped the gun. Imagine that. Oh, this is going to be a good one. I think I got a good start. Come on. Come on. What have I got? 7 8 again. Yeah. Awesome. All right, let's move on to another game. The multi kite. Okay, let's play. Mm, Maze is, Maze is kind of cool when you have the cat in there chasing you around. I don't think I'll play that one right now. Back, No, we're not playing backgammon. Baseball is actually pretty good on here, but it's a two-player game. Robot War. Yeah, let's try Robot War. Game number one. Mode four. Okay. The idea of this game, the little red guys are robots, and they're trying to kill me. And the idea of the game is i got to run and get them to run into those little force field squares. So we got to kind of move them over here. Move them over. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. oh he got, oh, oh, he got me again. Oh, oh. There we go. Yes. Ooh. 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 Run. Run for the hills. Oh, they got me again. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> uh, for, I really don't know, Ferg. I can't remember if Maze came out on the Fairchild before the Atari, or it's the other way around. I, I don't remember the release date for Maze on the Channel F, unfortunately. But they're pretty much, they're very similar games. One, you know, I, I don't remember the Atari one very well, but on the Fairchild one, you can have two people playing at once, going through the maze, and you can have a cat run around in the maze as well. You gotta try to avoid. It's a pretty fun game. It's more fun when you got two people playing. Yeah, Cannabis Kid, it kind of reminds you of Robotron just a little bit. Problem is, you don't fire. Because basically, you got to stay away from the robots. Okay, Fairchild was before the Atari then for Maze. Huh, I don't know, man. I think the arcade, Atari Arcade Maze game was before the Channel F, so... Maybe Fairchild got it from the arcade game. I don't know. That's a cool game. Let's get reset. This game also has another cool game on here called... Uh, oh, I forgot the name of this game. <laughs> Torpedo Alley. Now this reminds me a lot of the Atari 2600 game Target Fun. Oh, got a submarine. Whoop. 
Try to hit that little fast ship right there. Gotta time it just right. Oh, missed him. Got him! <laughs> Got the sub! Whoop, boom! Battleship suck! Another battleship! Awesome! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Boom! Whoops. Yeah, Chris, th this game is quite a bit of fun. It's one of my favorites on the system. It's a lot of fun to play two players to see you can get the, the up to 99 first. I mean, it's not too bad of a game. I mean, I, that's one thing I liked about the Fairchild is on some of the cartridges, they had multiple games that were actually different types of games. They weren't variations of the same game like you would have on the Atari 2600. For example, on this cartridge here, we had Torpedo Alley, and Robot War is what came on this cartridge. There's another one uh, that has uh, a Galactic something and Lunar Lander. My mind just ain't working today for some reason. Yeah, Nick, Air Sea Battle. <laughs> That's pretty much what this is. Oh, there we go. Battleship! Yeah, these kind of games I really like too, Chris. Trying to get to 99. 95. Oh. Ah. Hitting a little fast ones is a little hard to do. Gotta get back in the rhythm. Boop! 99! <laughs> Oh, man, there's another Hyper Pac-Man. Oh, Hyper Pac-Man 2. Dang, God, there's another one I had to list now. Let me write that down so I don't forget, Cannabis Kid. Hyper Pac-Man 2. I like Hyper Pac-Man. That's a lot of fun. All right, let's reset. Go to another game. Yes, CGM, they're simple games, but they are fun. Simple games for a very simple willy. Oh, let's mess with Maze real quick. Alright, game four. This is the, uh, the filled-in maze. So you got to find your way through the maze before the other player does. And what's cool is you can actually cover up your tracks to hide where you're going so they can't follow you as you make your way through the maze. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. You would have a lot of, uh, a real interesting time. You can uh, play the game with a cat in here as well. Let's see, let's see if I can get the cat in there. Game number one. And let's start with the cat. Oh, jeez, look at him go. Whoa. Gotta get to the end of the maze where the cat gets here. Oh man, I went the wrong way. Oh no, he's out. Whoa! Oh, run! 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 Oh, open the hole. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh we got the other mouse. Whoa, I escaped! Awesome. <laughs> Brand new maze. Now here's the divisible maze. Oh, wait a minute. Let me uh, reset this. We'll go with a little bit slower cat this time. So here's here's a slow cat. Oh, I hit the reset, dummy. Okay, there's a slower cat. Uh oh. Oh, go up, go up. Oh, he got me. Rats. Dang, gone it. <laughs> but it's a, it's a fairly fun game. It's, it's not bad. Okay, let's see. What else we got here? 
do 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 Oh, sonar search. Now here's one I used to play a lot as well. Basically, this is battleship. So I'm trying to find the enemy battleships on the screen. And you listen to the tones. The shorter the tones are, the closer you are to the battleship. Ah. Ooh. It's pretty close. I'm close. Where's he at? He's here somewhere. There he is! Gotcha! Ooh. Go this way. Oh, yeah! Oh, ho, 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 ho. I got one. No. Oh! Oh, yeah! Oh, ho, 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 Oh, other way. Oh, this must be the carrier. Yep. <laughs> oh, ain't nothing down there. Holy cow, there's nothing up there either. Let's go way over here. Oh, I'm close. Getting closer. Somewhere. There he is. Ha 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 ha. Well, I got 37, 36 shots left. All right. Got two more ships to find. Oh, nothing there. Oop. Close. There he is. Ha 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 ha. Oh, it's a little one too. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, can't have this kid. You sank my battleship. I love that commercial. The guy's voice pops. Cracks me up. Oh, geez. There ain't nothing over there. Some over here. Nope. Let's try up here. Okay, I'm getting close. Getting closer. Come on. There he is. Awesome. Is it this way? Nope. Oh, we got nine shots left. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah! I sank all the battleships. <laughs> yeah, Ferg, this game is pretty cool. It's a lot of fun in two-player mode as well. Uh, all right, let's try another game here. There we go. Okay, let's see. Memory match. That's just a memory matching game. I used to play this quite a bit growing up, but... Uh, oh, Dodge It! Yeah! I played the living daylights out of this game. I love Dodge It. Object of this game is to avoid the dodgeballs. And every about every so often, another dodgeball will come out. And it'll get more and more and more. It'll get harder and harder to dodge these crazy things. Whoa, whoa, shoot. There's kind of a pinball game for the Fairchild Channel F Cannabis Kid, but it's not pinball. It's Breakout. They lied on the uh, cover of the cart of the box for the cartridge. It has a pinball cartoon on the front and it says pinball but it's breakout so I don't know if they did that to avoid getting sued or what 
But I was so disappointed when I got that game back then. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, one got stuck. I'm going up here. Get too crazy out here. Whoa. 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 Dude. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh, oh. Hide in the corner. Oh, 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 almost got to 10. And then the screen will change so that the enemy dodgeballs become different sizes. They'll move different speeds. Your dot will be different sizes. So it's, it's kind of a different challenge every time. And the idea is you're trying to beat your latest high score to see how long you can last. Whoa. Stay down here. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Oh, jeez, don't do that. Run like the wind. Whoa. Oh, man. Oh, this is a nice big open area. Oh, jeez. These guys are flying. Oh boy. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, look, one's going up and down. It gets really bad when they get stuck together. Ah, 535. Oh, man. Little teeny weeny dodgeballs. Real big player. This is not going to end well. Yeah, I know. I know, Cannabis Kid. It's too bad they don't have a pinball game for the Fairchild Channel F. I have considered possibly trying to code one. For the channel left but I don't have a lot of time I, mean, I, I tried making a game on the Vetrix quite some time ago I was making a Tron game and I ran out of I just don't have time to do it whoa oh dude ooh, ooh. itty bitty dots big old player not going too well oh jeez <laughs> My favorite ones, you got real big dodgeballs, oh, right off the bat, and a teeny weeny flare. That's the most fun one to play. Oh, here we go. Here's one. Eedy beedy player, really big dodgeballs. They will crush you. Ooh. But it's a pretty fun game. See, Ferg, when you do your. Uh, your charity live stream, your extra life live stream, you ought to do a channel F. Be kind of cool. Go through all the different games. You and Sarah can play the two player games. I think it'd be a lot of fun to watch. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. Oh, you pressed me against the wall. <laughs> all right, let's try another game. Oh, channel F multi-card by Sean Riddle. Okay, we're going up the numbers. Now, here's the supposed pinball game. That's actually Breakout. But it's actually a really good version of Breakout, to tell you the truth. It's not bad at all. Game one, start. Here we go. Now, this is one of the few breakout games I actually can play with a joystick. Now, if you push forward on the joystick, you can go faster back and forth. If you pull back, you go slower for fine for fine movements. It's kind of a neat, unique control scheme. My favorite thing to do is get the ball on top. And it gets going so fast that the score counter can't keep up. It's, it's a lot of fun to watch. 
Yeah, Chris, there is a Space Invader game. It was the very last cartridge ever made. It was made by Zircon for the Channel F. It's called Alien Invasion. And it's actually a pretty good Space Invaders game. I've not done a video on it yet. I was looking at my Channel F Files uh, videos, and I'm missing two cartridges. I didn't do one on football, and I didn't do one on Alien Invasion. I, I don't know why I didn't do Alien Invasion. I need to do a video for that so I can put it with the podcast episode for Alien Invasion. I mean, at one time I had all the cartridges for the channel left. I had both demo carts. I had a diagnostic cartridge as well that was only given to the service technicians. I sold it all like a dummy. Went through the madness. Sold a bunch of stuff off. Was not a good day. <laughs> there we go. That's what I like to do right there. Digger, 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 digger. Yeah, Cannabis Kid, there's a drag racing game. I think you may have missed that one. But I played Drag Race earlier, which is the only racing game on the channel F. At least I remember playing this game before school while I was waiting on the bus bus to come. Oh! <laughs> I keep looking over the comments and distracting myself. <laughs> I need to get somebody to read comments to me while I'm playing the game. Like I had RK do that one time. It makes it a little easier on me so I can keep playing the game and not get distracted. Whoop. Boom. Come on, I'm trying, I'm trying to complete one screen. Clear one screen! Ah. Oh. Come on. Get those last blocks. Come on, you can do it. Get him. Boop! Got it. Come on, two more blocks. Two more blocks. One more block. One more. One more. Come on, let's get it flipped over there. Now, the bad thing about the Channel F, the ball physics for the pinball games you can see is not too good because you get into a pattern and it gets stuck, which is unfortunate. Anyway, let's try another game. I think since Atari Creek brought up Space Invaders, I'm going to skip over to Space Invaders. That's a fun game. Video Whiz Ball is good. Bowling. Bowling is the game I love on the channel left. I could play that game for hours. Matter of fact, we're going to play it real quick. Because <laughs> I want to play bowling. Okay, here we go. Oh, that ain't, ain't the game I want to play. I want to play the regular bowling game. That's, uh... This should be it. There we go. That's it. All right. Here we go. And... Oh! Come on. Ah! Woo! Oh, man! I should have had a strike! I was robbed! Oh, right in the gutter. <laughs> that was good. I'm getting a bunch of dashes. No spares or nothing. Oh, come on! Give me a strike! Guys, I used to be really good at this game. I don't know what's going on, man. <laughs> oh, that's cool, Hero Journalism. You work on a video 10 games better on the Fairchild than the 2600. Ooh, I don't know if there's going to be 10. <laughs> oh, a strike! Yes! Yeah, Chris, I I've got the ball going fast to make it a little bit more challenging, which I probably shouldn't do. 
You can control the speed of the ball bouncing back and forth. You can make it go really slow. If I make it go real slow, I can usually get strikes fairly, fairly easy. I just did it for fast, just so it would go along faster. It wouldn't be as boring. Oh, man! Let's see if I get a spare. And I got a spare. Oh, I love that that split right there. I'm real good at getting that split. Oh, I didn't arc it over quick enough. Got the spare, though. I'm not even going to break 100, man. That is so bad. 105. Hey, I broke 100. Yay! <laughs> okay. Now... We'll skip through the cartridges, tiptoe through the cartridges with me. Slot machine, yeah. Ooh. Galactic Space Wars. That's a cool game. Outer Space, then you have... That also has Lunar Lander. Oh, what's, what the heck, let's play it. So you gotta watch your radar. Get it to say zero, 0 to get locked in on the ship. Oh, there he is. Zap, zap. Got him! Hey, Alpha Omega Creations. How's it going, man? Shoot the UFO. Oh, oh. And... Ooh, zap. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot me. Shoot one more ship. Yeah. But you can also play Lunar Lander. Whoa. 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 Oh! <laughs> Oops. Whoa. Oh, man. I can't even land Lunar Lander. So bad. I'm so bad at these games. There we go. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Finally. Ooh. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Twenty nine. Oh, I was too fast. Oh, man. There we go. Awesome. 33. So far, my best time has been 29. Wow. <laughs> I didn't even try to stop that time. Ah. Come on, try to beat that 29. Oh, man, come on. I was there. 18, yeah. <laughs> 10, 10. <laughs> oh, I don't think I'm going to be 10, man. That was, that was a fluke right there. <laughs> All right, let's try another game. Do, 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 do. Go through the cartridges. Alien Invasion. Now, here you go, Chris. This is the Space Invaders game that Zircon put out. This came out after the 2600 Space Invaders. I just remember how to start the crazy game. Okay, here we go. Come on. Don't remember how to start it. There we go. Oh, I started a two-player version. Ooh. Ooh. Zap. 
Rats. Hang on a second here. Let's let's get this to start right here. Look, game number one. Game number one. I think this is the one player game. There it is. That's the one player game. Alright, there we go. Oh! Zap! Zap! Get up! Get them invaders! Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, oh! Get the UFO! Oh, I missed the UFO! Whoa! Oh, he got me. <laughs> Try and clear a row. Come on. Get the UFO. Get the UFO. Got the UFO. Awesome. Boy, we're getting faster. Get him. Get him. Shoot that alien scum. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah! And I got the UFO again. More invaders to battle. I need the double shot like you can do on the 2600. Whoa! Notice, just like on the 2600, they can run off the side of the screen on you. There we go. Whoop. No, you don't. Zap. Zap. Oh! Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, this is one of the games. This and Pac-Man were the two most played games when I had this console set up at Classic Gaming Expo in Las Vegas in 2014. The channel left got a lot of use. Had to make repairs to controllers at least twice. <laughs> it got played so much. Cannabis Kid, uh, I think the only real puzzle game you have, I, maybe it's Memory Match. Uh, Nim. Nim's on here. As well. There is a homebrew, homebrew Tetris game, though. I think I've got it on this multi-car, as a matter of fact. I don't remember the Easter eggs, Ralph. There is Easter eggs on the Space Invader cart. But I'll remember what, what they are. Let's see. Uh, I think the Tetris is on here. Color test. There's Pac-Man. There it is. Tetris. It plays fairly good. Boop. There's not a lot of home, a lot of homebrew for the for the channel left. I wish uh, more people would write games for it. It'd be really cool. It'd also be nice to have a multi cart that you're able to put an SD card into as well. So if there was homebrew games being made, you'd actually be able to play them. But the Channel F system is one of those orphaned game systems. Not a whole lot of people, you know, think about or or even you know, play. 
This is a pretty good Tetris. I like this Tetris game. I think I played this Tetris game when I did my uh, Tetris Palooza to celebrate the anniversary of Tetris some time back. Ooh, I'm doing horrible. So bad. So bad. But this joystick's great for playing Tetris, though. Because basically you twist the handle to rotate your, your pieces. You just twist. You know, like so. So that makes it kind of nice. Nice little gameplay mechanic. Uh-oh. Well, I messed that up. We'll put you over there. We'll stick you over here. Boop! Yeah, Matt. Uh, a lot of these games make use of these different functions of this controller. If you're able to get uh, one of those Atari adapters to the PC and get one of the Atari 2600 Zircon sticks, you might be able to get something to work. This does work in mess. The Channel F does. Game over, man! Yeah, yeah Chris, the... Uh, the Tetris game does play really well with it. Right now, we got to play the Pac-Man game on the old Channel F. This is an incredible homebrew game. It was actually made to look just like it would have been had it been released back in the day. Check this cartridge out. It's got the label, just like the originals. It is really awesome. So... Plug in the old Pac-Man. Maybe. Now I'm thinking there. Oh, I gotta really work on this lock mechanism. Oh, come on, lock in. Come on, lock in. Come on, lock in. You can do it. Hang on, guys. I'm having technical difficulties here. I think it locked in. It locked in. There we go. But check this out, man. It's got the, like the little intro thing, you know, Shadow, Blinky, Pinky, Inky, Clyde. It's even got the cutscenes too. I mean, it's an incredible, incredible Pac-Man game for the Fairchild, considering the limitations that the Fairchild has. Uh, it doesn't have as much memory and stuff as the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. Yet, they're able to pull off a Pac-Man like this. It's freaking amazing. Yeah, Matt, the Channel F carts, they look like 8-track cassette tapes. That was on purpose. That was part of the design of these things. Anyway, let's start a one-player game. Here we go. Waka waka! Now, it's not a fast game, but it's just the right speed for me. <laughs> Uh-oh. Coming after me. Oh, get the cherry. Get the cherry. Get the cherry. Got to chomp the ghost first. I want that cherry. Oh, I missed the cherry. Rats. Oh, little green Pac-Man. He's a Martian Pac-Man. That's why he's green. Get him, 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 get him. Oh, cherry, a cherry. Get the cherry. Ooh. Awesome. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Whoa, buddy. Whoa. Go down the escape tunnel. There we go. Yeah, just stay right there. I'll chomp you too, buddy. There are you. How you like that? Almost got one board cleared. Just a few 
more dots. Just a few more dots. And the board is cleared. Awesome. Now if I can clear this board, we'll have a cutscene. Which is really cool. Oh, it's the strawberry level. Don't use that power dot yet. I want to shave the power notch. Whoa! He got me! that strawberry but it'll be gone by the time I get down there yep see it's gone <laughs> should even tried let's just get the board clear to get to that cutscene Board is cleared. And here's the cutscene. This is cool that he included the cutscenes too. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> pretty awesome. Run! Man. Oh, no, you don't. Whoop. Go this way. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. They cornered me. Rats. Game over, man. <laughs> Pac-Man is really good on the channel left. I mean, if you ever get a channel left, you definitely want to try to get a hold of this game. Uh, I don't think they're being made anymore, but I know he makes runs of them every once in a while. Or get a multi-cart. Because this also has this game, Pac-Man, on this multi-card as well. I went ahead and bought the box version just because I like it. I thought it was really cool. Didn't need to have two copies of Pac-Man, but I thought it was kind of cool to have. So anyway, that's the Channel F for the Channel F Frenzy. What do we got here in the track? Oh, yeah. Thanks, Trogdor. Yeah. I thought the channel app, a channel app stream would be a lot of fun to do. It was suggested on the last stream to do the channel app. Digi Retro Boy. I have no idea what the Digi Retro Boy is. <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> I figure out what that is. I don't follow a lot of that kind of stuff. Uh, my channel is mainly just playing these old games and having fun and talk about them things like that but anyway that's the channel left frenzy stream i think i want to do the odyssey 2 next weekend because I, I i'm pretty sure i do have a multi-cart for the odyssey 2 so i can play some odyssey 2 games and then after the odyssey 2 that's when i'm going to do the 7800 pack palooza 
because I got all my 1700 Pac-Man games in the mail today. Yay! Baby Pac-Man's up there on the shelf. So, in a couple weeks, I'll be doing the 1700 Pac-Palooza. So, until next time, everyone. I want to thank everybody for stopping by and watching. Everybody in the chat. And I'll see you on the next stream.